Here we are, Diamond Trap, Diamond, Illinois. The gateway to Coal City, pretty much, isn't it? Yep. Diamond, that's, that is, yeah. Well, Here we are in Diamond, Illinois, which is right past resume speed for a lot of people, at the Diamond Trap Club. And who is the proprietor of the Diamond this Trap Club? My wife, Christy, and myself, and I'm Leon. How are we doing, Leon? What's on the board? All right, so this is the Northern Zone Shoot, Northern Illinois ATA Shoot. We have our in-house team that we train here and we try to get uh, college scholarships for. So in the Northern Zone shoot, we came out with 11 trophies. So we're very proud of our kids for that. This is the 2021 Illinois State shoot for AIM. And we've come out with Junior Gold Team Championship. We come out with State Champion and Handicap Junior, third place Handicap Junior, second place Junior Gold Handicap, and first place in Junior Gold Doubles. And then um, it, the mayor was so impressed with us and supports us that she actually put it in the paper. Great. So, so it's fair to say that uh, uh, Diamond Trap has been well embraced by the community? Absolutely. Got good community support here? We get a huge support from the city. Huge support from the time we proposed it to the city till now we get a huge support. Because Diamond doesn't have a school, all the kids go to Coal City. Mm -hmm. So, like, this is the mayor's thing for the children. And so they give us great support. But then um, we have our in-house team that we travel around all over Illinois, uh, Indiana, Missouri, and we compete in competitions. We, we uh, do the, my wife and I are the Reed Custer High School coaches. We have six certified coaches here. So then on Mondays, we have our youth instructional leagues that are, it's a five-week league that the kids sign up for, and we literally teach them how to shoot trap. Because our ultimate goal is to get these kids off to college on scholarships. And so far, at the end of this year, we have five kids that are off in shooting scholarships. Great. No, that's outstanding. So when did you break the ground here? When, when did you come up with the, you and your bride uh, decide you were going to do this? Actually, this was my wife's idea. Our boys shoot competition, and we were shooting outside, and it was like 98 degrees and bugs, or we'd be shooting in the rain or just really, really cold. That Or even wanted. snow, like we have right now. But then she said there should be a place to do this indoors. So that's how the conversation started. And I have a commercial construction company, so... I designed it with my architect and we built it and we opened in March of 19, right before the pandemic. So that made it really hard. 2019? March of 20. March of 20. Oh, of, of 20. Yeah. It was three weeks before the pandemic started. So, so, so not quite two years. Quite You'll two have years. a two year anniversary this March, this upcoming this March. March. Two years. Right, and it's been very well accepted and this year alone, we're going to throw 500,000 birds. So that I call that a pretty good number. I would say. But in this area here where all the seeding is, is we rent this out for conferences. We have a lot of companies, whether they're banks or seed companies or whoever, they'll come in here and set up on the TV and have their meetings. We have a Business lot. meetings, Business sales meetings. meetings. We have lunch for them and then um, we do a lot of youth hunter safety courses. Like we have one in January, one in February, one in March, and all three of them are already all booked. Great. You know, because we put 45 in here at a time. 
but with the pandemic, you know, we've got to limit it so we can keep everybody spread out. We've got basically two fields we're talking about. Two fields, two ATA certified fields. We're the only ATA certified indoor range in the country. In the entire United States? In the world, as far as I know. Okay. I can honestly say that. To be an ATA certified indoor range that we can actually hold competitions. Like right now, we're starting our winter big 50s, which is 50 singles, 50 handicap, and 50 doubles, and that's an ATA competition. So that's every other Sunday all the way through March. Okay. So we have registered shoots here. We have right. registered shoots. And of the two fields, um, 16 yard back to 27. Correct. 27 yard uh, ATA handicap standard range. Yep. And is one of your fields set up for uh, sporting clays or a, a version of five stand sporting clays? We have clays? a version of five stand that's set up here, but it requires all the fields. There's seven traps out there that if we're not busy with trap, we'll set it up if somebody wants to shoot five stand. And we have the two houses, we cross over and then five other throwers and no one has broke 25 yet. Okay. It's, it's a pretty tough field. All right. For the most part, it's trap though. It sounds like uh, you're you're busy almost all the time uh, with trap. In the winter, we're packed. You could wind up waiting in the winter, but in the summertime, it, um, you could probably come in at any time. But what we like is that we not only get ATA shooters, but we get the public. There's no membership here. It's open to the public, so that people that can safely handle a firearm and have their void card, they can come here and shoot also. Just, you know, we, we have a lot of guys bring their dates, you know, or bring their wives just to try it out. So we do a lot of that too, but all of our instructors here, we have, like I said, we have six instructors on staff. So we usually have an instructor that can go out there and help somebody get going if they don't know how to do it. So Diamond Trap comes highly recommended uh, for the first date. Absolutely. And the second date. Yeah. That's what we get a lot of those, especially guys with their wives or, you know, parents with their children, that their children want to try it. And then they'll come in and they'll join our youth league. We have youth league on Monday nights. And, you know, we'll have 40 kids on our youth league. We limit it to 10 kids per hour. So, one, we can keep spread out with the pandemic, but also they can get adequate attention and, and monitor their safety. Seems like a nice, safe, comfortable, relaxed environment for new shooters to get introduced to play target sports. We have a lot of them. I would say... 40% of our business is new shooters. Every every week we get somebody to come in that hasn't been here before. And then once they come, they're like, see you again next week. Yeah, because there's no reason. I mean, uh, of course they need a Floyd card. Yeah. Um, and they need to sign a release like yes. you do everywhere else. Yes. But it's not congested and... It's some places for a brand new shooter when they walk in, a guy gets a shotgun, he goes to the local trap club, and there's the guys that have been there for 120 years chomping on cigars. It's like, that's not the right gun, boy. You know, you've heard all that stuff. I mean, I went through that years ago. Now, I'm an old guy, but uh, been through it. So for somebody just starting out that goes to a local trap club, it can be very intimidating. It is. And We've run into that ourselves when we would take our kids somewhere and they were just learning that the old guys would just kind of look at them funny, you know, like, why are you here? But that's not the way it is here. We want everybody to feel comfortable. We're going to help you if you don't know. If you need, you know, um, we can't rent guns, but if you bring a shotgun in, we're going to help walk you through it and show you how to use it. And, uh, we'll get you started. But what we really like is that no matter who you are, like we have kids from eight years old, we have people that have come in here and shot in their 80s. You know, we will come out there and help you if you need help. But there was a lot of thought that went into this place to make it comfortable for everybody. You know, all the way from the seating to the restaurant to the armory. Because if you notice, the armory has a locked door on it. You can only get in with a button. And the reason for that is safety. If there's kids in the restaurant or kids out here, you don't want them going in there messing with somebody's guns. Or sure. You know, if somebody wants to leave their stuff in there and go get a bite to eat, their stuff is locked up, it's safe, it's a controlled environment. And unless you have the proper safety gear or you're approved, you don't get to go in the range. That's why we have the bulletproof glass here is that, you know, all the parents will line up out here and watch their kids shoot. You know, and, and they really enjoy that. What you, what's on everybody's mind right now, what everybody's been griping about, carping about, 
uh, nobody's happy about is the ammunition shortage. It is a struggle. So um, you had mentioned earlier um, you buy from federal direct. We are a federal authorized dealer, but federal's doing a pretty good job of keeping us stocked up. But little times I get nervous because we're getting, getting down to a half a pallet of shells or something. But they're doing a pretty good job now of catching us up. We're trying to stock up so that when the spring comes and all the big tournaments start, we can supply shells to everybody. We have a good supply right now of 9mm, 45s, 40s, 223s, all, all the popular calibers. We have a good supply of that right now, but I don't see anything on the horizon. So as far as I know, what we have is what we have right now. Mm -hmm. So it is, get, it, it is still tough, but I'm being told from my suppliers that 2022 is probably going to be worse than 21 as far as getting ammunition. And we're talking about... Uh uh, target shot shells or, ju or just everything? Everything, even components. You know, because we got a lot of guys that come here to buy shot or primers or, and stuff like that, and sometimes we just don't have it. We just can't get our hands on it. Now, uh, as far as the ammunition rules here, um, you can't bring your own ammo. Nope. No, uh, no reloads, you can't bring your, your own ammo. No, and the reason for that, and I get that question a lot, the reason for that is the curtain on the back wall is rated for so much. And I don't want somebody coming in with overloaded number sixes or something like that. I'm not confident the curtain will stop it. But the curtain is rated for the loads that we supply, which are standard trap loads, and they're lead. They're not steel, they're not plastic, they're not coconut hulls. I've heard it all. But it, it is a standard trap lead load. But the curtain is designed for what we shoot, and, and it's what everybody shoots at all the tournaments. So it is standard trap load. So you're not set up uh, for the comedian that wants to uh, see if he can break a clay pigeon with his uh, foster slug? Well, or, or even his duck load, you know, or his goose load coming in with double Bs, you know, three and a half or something. No, we're not set up for that. Triple Bs. Yeah, but there is no outside ammunition. If I catch you with outside ammunition, I'm going to have to ask you to put it back in your vehicle. Okay. So, I mean, it's primarily, it's, uh, sounds like not so much safety, to, but to prevent damage to your range, some right. very expensive damage very expensive to, to, to tear up your range. And they work very, very well. See, that's one thing where we're environmentally friendly. All the shot goes down, hits the curtain, and falls to a tarp on the floor, which we have a back, lead HEPA vacuum that cleans it up, and then we can resell that lead. We have a lot of guys that come here to buy the lead, but it's environmentally friendly. And, and you don't, don't have to. Outside. You don't have to sift out the sand, the mud, and the rocks, uh, whatever. The, the okay. insects. It is clean, clean lead. But you know, it's we're not polluting the earth with lead. We are not polluting the earth with noise. You know, everything is kept inside. This building was designed with double sound insulation that when you're outside in front you can't even hear them shoot so it, it's no i was just outside you couldn't hear anything at all hear nothing. Ab nothing nobody's gonna hear anything from the parking lot much less the street right if you're in the back on the side of the building it's no more than a sound of closing a car door so we, we haven't had any complaints about noise but it's just a very comfortable environment and it's the perfect training environment that's what i love about it we can bring our youth team here and we train every week and it's a controlled environment where we can work with them we're not fighting the weather the wind the bugs distractions you know everything is all the birds are ata legal birds so it is the absolute perfect training environment for our okay team. leon we're back in the inner sanctum with all the top secret stuff top secret stuff is right great. right no, this is how we pick up the birds. Once a week, we'll go through and sweep up all the birds. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we run them to the dumpster. And then I built this vacuum myself, and this is what we pick up with the lead. And it goes through a collector I built, drops all the lead shot down, and then all the particles and dust go back to a HEPA, HEPA lead filter. A HEPA lead filter. So you're about as green as can be yeah. down here. And we've got cases of ammo. You probably like to see about 10 times as much as you have. I would. I've got a few, couple more pallets coming in, but uh, I'm trying to get stocked up for spring for when the guys get really, the competition starts going.
it was a struggle last year trying to keep everybody stocked. Sure. So you've got federal. I see some challenger stuff. Can't get them anymore. I used to. That's what I was telling you. I used to get them from overseas. And I used to shoot challengers uh, hunting up in Canada, but not. Uh, yeah, those are uh, skeet loads. Those are number nine skeet loads. So that's why they're sitting there. Because when we go over to uh, the kids to practice skeet, that's what we use. Well, worst comes to worst. I mean, that works fine from six for sixteen yards. Yeah, stuff. worst comes to worst. Yeah. I mean, some. some if people. I didn't have anything else, you bet. But we have nine millimeter, forty-five, two, two, three, forty. The only thing I'm out of right now is three eighties. I have twenty twos, five, five, six. And that's just for regular use. I mean, yeah. that doesn't have you don't have a handgun range here or no, anything. No, this is so. just to sell to the public. So right. I try to keep everybody stocked up. Well, good luck with that. Yeah, but this is it. No, there's no more coming. Nobody has it. So well, it'll be coming. It'll, it'll be coming sooner or later. Yeah. It's just uh, maybe later. But you know, we sell a lot of waterfall loads. Sure. But yeah, I mean, Northern Illinois is one of the largest resident populations of of Canadian geese in the country. Right. It's unbelievable. One one fellow that that hunts, you know, not far from a playing field, he's already got 159. Canadian geese mm -hmm. in the sack this year, and he's works hard at it. You know, pulls the trailer, uh, five grand worth of decoys. I right. mean, set up the A blind. Really works hard at it, but uh, that's a love of doing it. That's somebody who really loves it. But you know, like I said, we do a lot of high school shooting. We're trying to get Coal City, Morris, and Wilmington to start a team. We've already got Braidwood and Gardner South Wilmington that shoot here. Mm -hmm. We can get three more, and then we could have in-house high school tournaments also. Mm, good. It's in the magic scoop there, Leon. This is our lead that we pick up from shooting. Well, I was telling you, just go back and hit the curtain, it goes down on a tarp, and we clean it up. And then uh, it's perfectly good for shooting. It's a once-fired, no rocks, no, no dirt. And there's all, all number eight? Is all that number eight. When we run out of number eights, we'll start shoot seven and a half. So we'll clean up all the eights, and then we'll shoot seven and a half and clean up seven and a half. Gotcha. Well, we've got a cold range. Does the X have something to do with that? That means the, the mics won't work. The range is shut down. So, how many yards from wall to wall? From where, from where the two hundred feet. From, from where the windows are? 300 feet. 100 yards. 100 yards. We put a camera in each house so that we can monitor how many birds are left in the thrower from the front desk. We have like 32 cameras here. So we can monitor everything. So no wasted time to, to check the... No, we don't have to count. We just watch the monitor up front and we know when we've got to go load. And it's not a wasted trip when you open no. up. You, you you know you need clays. We're not stopping shooters. I even grind my own latches. And my boys shooting competition. We kind of knew what we wanted it to be. The whole goal was how do we get it to that point. But being in the construction industry for 45 years, it's something I do every day. So this is ATA distance on the birds, and uh, this net back here will catch a lot of the birds. It doesn't get everyone, but it gets a lot of them. It doesn't get all the pieces. Nope. <laughs> no, we'll clean those out every so often. These throwers back here are part of our five stand setup. So when you do uh, your version of five stand, there's no trap. I mean, this is the entire it range the is entire five stand sporting clays. So there's two more throwers up there behind that wall, and then the two houses and the three back here. So how tough does the, your backstop have to be? Tough enough to stop the shot. Well. Yeah. Mm. Uh, yeah, you would think. But it's all I, mean, about I, 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 I see. I see a lot of shot here. Right. 
So uh, is it is that what's happening? Is that it's hitting the, hitting the uh, the tarp or the barrier and bouncing back yeah. right to this area? Well, well, this is getting pushed forward. We're getting ready to get cleaned up. You can see it all back there along the floor. Okay. All right. So what it does is the curtains will absorb the energy and just drop it to the floor. It pretty much goes straight right. down there. Some of it bounces out, I'm sure. But a minimal amount. Minimal amount. I mean, nothing that's going to make it out of this area no, at, at all. This is us pushing it forward, getting ready to do a cleanup. And how tough do you have to make the, uh, the roof here? That's just... Uh, double sound insulation, total of I think it's 18 inches, and then steel on the outside. So it's not built to stop shot. It would stop it. It's not intended to, but it would stop it. But it just doesn't happen. People, everybody that comes here is they know the rules and they know to point down range. And you know, like I said before, if somebody doesn't know how, we're going to come out and get them started right, so that they can be safe and have fun doing it. About the only restriction I noticed you've got as far as shotguns is no hammer guns. No hammer guns. So yeah, are That's are it. you on the on the bad boy list from Model ninety seven fans or H and R Topper? You're uh, just not going to bring them in here. You're not going to be allowed to use them, and it's, it's due with safety. You know, you because you have to cock, and if your thumb slips, the gun could fire. We know of accidents where it's happened, so we just don't allow them here. It's just this is all about safety, also. Last thing I want is anyone getting hurt. Of course, uh, of course not. Nobody wants that. No, nope. bad for the sport. Bad for every. Bad for everything. But everybody comes here and they behave and everybody does a good job. And I can only since, since we've opened, I've only asked one person to leave ever. And was that a member of your immediate family? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, but as a guy who thought he was going to do things his way instead of our way, and that's just not going to happen. Yeah, well, he can he can build his own indoor yeah. range and uh, do, and do it his way, way, right? But it is safety protocols. You're going to do it the right way. You're going to shoot trap, and if you're not, you're gonna, I will ask you to leave. Now, you do trap doubles here as well? And handicap. The guys you saw earlier were shooting from the 27-yard Right, 27-yard ATA handicap. Doubles. We have to, to be able to be an ATA certified range. Sure. Yeah. But it has to be this big to be ATA certified. The birds have to fly so far and at certain angles and certain distances, you know, from the trap house. It has to be this size. Mm -hmm. Another first for Illinois. It is. Another first in the country. Yeah. The only ATA certified indoor range. You bet. Great. All right, and then my wife and I coach the local high school team, so they shoot here also. And again, it's about training. You know, so um, we took first place in our conference. You know, there's our trophy from last year for second place in our conference. Okay. This is absolutely the perfect training environment. So, where do you think you're going to be uh, by the end of 2022? By the end of 2023? I mean, it sounds like you're in this for. For the long haul, I long would term. Like to grow at a hundred thousand birds a year, if I could do that. And this is about that's about double what you're doing right now. No, but this year we're going to throw five hundred thousand birds, and if I could throw six hundred thousand in 2022 and seven hundred thousand in 23, I would be happy. Now, are there any plans of further expansion? I mean, you've got a lot of room right here. You've got you've got your restaurant. You've got happy, smiling. Ellie uh, at the counter, always ready to cheer people up. Well, I don't have any plans for expansion. I get asked all the time, if you could do something different, what would you do? My answer is nothing. I don't think I'd change a thing because it just works so well. And, you know, and, and you've got plenty of parking. I mean, no one's parking in the South 80 uh, to get in the door, so it's a lot of... It's generous parking, and it's all very close. There's 60 parking stalls on the side that there's never a car over there because we've got almost 100 in the front. You know? But most guys will come here, and they'll shoot 100 rounds and have lunch and talk with their friends, and it, it's quite the social environment. Mm -hmm. And it's a bargain for uh, if you're 60 years old or over, right, on Tuesdays, Tuesdays and Thursdays? Tuesdays and Thursdays mornings from 10 a.m. to 2, we do senior hours, where they get a $5 discount. And with the price of shelves right now, that's a pretty good deal. 
Well, the more you shoot, the more you save, right? Gotcha. And free coffee. Free coffee. And the restaurant on site. They all come to get breakfast, socialize a little bit, go shoot around, come back, drink some more coffee, shoot a little bit, come back, drink some more coffee. You know, it's, it's a nice place to hang out, especially in the winter. It is as well. It's, it's relaxing. I mean, just being here. It's nice. It's clean. It's well lit. It's, you've got comfortable couches all over the place. So, uh, you can see our linden wood and our Grand View flags up there. Every, you know, our goal is to get kids off to college on scholarships, as I told you. And every college that we get a kid off to, I request a flag from them and we hang it on the ceiling. You know, so that we can motivate the kids that are coming up that you can do this. So this is one of the sports where you don't have to be the superstar football player, the superstar basketball or baseball player. You, you could be the 90 pound little girl and if you can shoot well, you're going to get a scholarship. They're going to come to us. We're well known enough now that colleges talk to us about who do you have coming up, who should we watch. Okay. Well, sounds like you're doing really well. You've got a good plan and you've been very successful so far. So. I want to thank you for coming out. It no, nice it's a pleasure, Leon. Nice surprise. So a diamond trap and uh, people, you've got a website. So where can people find you on the internet? You, you can find us at diamondindoortrackrange.com or really follow us on Facebook. If you follow us on Facebook, that's where my wife posts all the upcoming events. Anything that's happening, any kind of news will get posted on our Facebook page. Okay, so that's the latest and greatest. Latest and greatest. But just for directions, uh, even coming down here today, you know, Android Auto brought me right here. You know, through the cooling lakes, the fog of, uh, of, of the cooling lakes, and uh, through the covered bridge, and all all the good stuff. All right. Thanks, Leon. Appreciate it. Thank you for coming out. Nice surprise.